let's give you a look at the <clears throat> settings for my graphics. As you can see, most things are on high. I do have two 7970 graphics cards, but of course, with full screen and the way DCS A10 or DCS World is at the moment, they're only using one of the GPUs. So, um, just to keep the frame rate up a little bit, I've got the water on low, the vis range on medium, no heat blur because it's not much use really in um, UH1, the Huey Sim anyway. Um, but it's pretty high resolution, 6048 by 2380. That's a 1080 screen, the touch screen beneath the uh, 1200. Uh, vertical res uh, screen above it plus 100 for bezel compensation and then there's the uh, the monitor lure is one I've made up for soft th and um, I think that's about it so I've just made up a, a simple transport flight uh, out of Tbilisi. Okay so the rotors have started, uh, did a quick start there rather than laboriously wait for it. But I've just uh, zoomed down onto the lower screen so we can see that the switches do actually work. Having said that, I've got some of these actually on the HOTAS, which makes life a lot easier. I hope you can make this out, but you can actually use the touchscreen to, uh, to manipulate some of the gauges, set the heading, even set the and test the bug on the, the rattle and you can use it to change the settings too also you just put the landing light on already on and extend it which I think it was Okay, let's take it for a fly. You can possibly make out the frame rate's not brilliant. It's just about workable. I'm still waiting for the um, edge to come out and therefore be able to use my graphics cards to their full potential. Uh, so presently it's only using one GPU, as those you probably already know. But I'm asking quite a lot of it, and it's a fairly big frame um, resolution, this, including the three screens. But as you can see, it is flyable. That sun is bright. And let's head off down this way. As you can already uh, make out, I'm using Track IRs, Track IR5. That adds a lot to the realism, especially as you can check out in the turns, see which way you're going. And I do love the fact that not only can you look into the turn, but just like real pilots do, you can rotate your head so you keep the horizon level, which is really cool. Let's 
get a little bit crazy. is awfully bright. Look around and come in from the other direction. It will look quite so glary then. To be frank, I haven't really been flying this long enough. Uh, I've been diverted by other things, but I just thought I'd put this video up to show how good it can work with the T setup, especially if on your lower screen you have a, um, a touch screen. Well, poor flying and poor hovering, but never mind. The purpose uh, is to show you how well you can get it to run with soft TH. As many of you may know, I was quite an advocate of Helios with A10C, and uh, some of you indeed may have used my profile. But uh, if you have done that, you'll already know that there's no, uh, there's no way to use Helios, at least with any exports, um, in the UH-1. And... Uh, Therefore, that's why I reverted to this soft TH uh, compromise, if you like. Uh, it'd be nice to have the six screens, but it's very hard to export them, and that'd be even harder on the graphics cards. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it, and um, would uh, perhaps like to subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye now.